Hello YouTube, today uh, I will show you how to root the Samsung Galaxy S3 by AT&T and um, you would be needing two files first would be the Odin, I have the version 3.07 here and you would be needing a root injected firmware um, there are two firmwares out for AT&T I'm using UCALG1 firmware um, so those are the two files and uh, let me show you what version of the phone I have here. It's i747, which is for AT&T. It's running on Android 4.0.4, and it's UCLG1 update. So first thing we're gonna do is power off the phone, and um, we will need to put the phone in the download mode. So let's wait for the phone to power off. Yeah, the phone is power off. You need to uh, hold down the volume down key, home key, and the power key all together at once, and you'll be prompted to press volume up to enter the download mode. So there you see, we are in download mode now, and you can connect your phone to your PC, and you can open up the Odin software. So you can see that the Odin software is now open and it should recognize the phone and you should see a COM10 kind of thing uh, which tells you that the phone is recognized and if at all you don't see that thing up there um, maybe your drivers are missing so make sure that you have all the drivers installed and then click on PDA so here you want to browse to the um, root injected firmware file it's the .tar file so make sure you check that and do not check in any other boxes just leave it as it is and uh, just click on start so yeah we're gonna click on start so as soon as you click on start the process starts the routing process starts and you should be seeing a bunch of processes going on and their status messages and this process basically takes about 5 to 10 or 15 minutes depending upon how much of data you have on your phone it has to move to the new firmware so make sure uh, you have enough battery left as well and um, yeah we'll return after the process is complete Okay, now the process is almost done. The only process which takes long is the system one and it's almost to the end now, as you can see. The phone should reboot as soon as the processors are done. So let's see. Okay, it seems like it's done and the phone should do some settings thing and it should reboot as it is and um, as you see some android thing going on there and it's rebooting now normally And uh, keep one thing in mind that you'll not be losing any data or such. All the data on the phone would be present. So, just a heads up for that. And by this point of time, you are actually safe to disconnect your phone. So you need not, uh, you don't need the Odin anymore and um, stay away from Odin as uh, 
you know, it might have chances to include increment your flash counter. So just stay away from the Odin until and unless you want to go back to the stock ROM. So let's find the super user here. And uh, I'm just seeing whether anything else has changed. And uh, you do have the super user uh, application in there which means that your device is now rooted and um, just click on OK and uh, there are no current applications which are or which need a uh, root access so let me go to the Play Store and let's install an application from Google Play Store and let's see whether it works or not so I'm gonna look for titanium backup app and let's install that app here and there you go let's open the app it should ask for the super user request then there you go you see the proof uh, now the phone is rooted now if, if all you want if all you prefer a rooted stock ROM and if all you prefer touchwiz you can stop right here but if all you want additional things like clockwork mod recovery to flash custom ROMs I do have video so I'll link it down uh, in the description and um, I guess that's it for the video thanks for watching